Yeah, you, you got you a know question what? about adoption. No, 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 for real. So you're telling me on the code that if I sit there, you know, I'll fight. And I'm telling you, for real, for real. I done already told you. No. Hey, Grace ain't dealing with the so called way. Hey, we can do this all day long. Give her a dog. Hey, what's hey, you, you, you got that? If I choose. No, go ahead, bring it up. The book of Second Andrews, chapter 3, verse 32. Bring it, up. bring it up. Or is there any other people? that knoweth thee besides Israel. Besides who? Besides, besides Israel. Israel. The Lord is not dealing with no other nation but the nation of Israel. Right. Thus says the Lord, man. Stop leaning on their own understanding. Read, so or what assume. generation you has assume. so believed thy covenant as Jacob? Hey, so who who are the covenants for? The covenants for Jacob, and, um, and, and Abraham, and, and Jacob. Jerusalem and, and Abraham. You see, she she no, just she, she confounded no, and confused, man. Because like the Edomite don't know what's going on, man. Hey, let me, covenants covenants real quick. Yeah, let me get the covenants real quick. Let me get the covenants real quick. What you got? Go ahead, read it. This is the Book of Romans, chapter nine, and verse four. Who are God Israelites? To uh -huh. so who pretended to us? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, you just I, I, hold on, hold on. You ain't answering the question. I'm answering the question, I'm question right now, but you but you running your damn pink mouth, man. See, and I know it. Shut the hell up. Right? So it's just because. Right. Who? Be quiet and listen, Edomite. Look, right. I, I, look, I'm asking you. I ain't really got to deal with you. I'm out here for my people. I'm, I'm going to be like Christ and just ignore your ass. That's right. Right? That's right. Bring it up. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? That's right. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Guess that's you being rebellious right. because you don't want the knowledge of the word of God. A lot of our people don't want the word of God. Right. They want that pastor to sit there and shuck a job and lie to them. Give me Isaiah. Wake him up, huh? Give me Isaiah 30 and 9. That's what our people love. Y'all people lie to y'all time. I ain't gonna lie to you. We got the clock now. Break it out. Blow him up. <laughs> you give me a bazooka. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 9. Bring it up. That this is a rebellious people. You rebellious people. That's what's wrong with you blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. Y'all rebellious. You don't like no God. Then you got darn Mexicans running around here with that Catholic church with them bees on there talking all that book of Hail Mary. Hail Mary ain't gonna do nothing but take you to hell. That's right. Shut up, man. We dealt with your butt last time. Take your old punk butt down the road. Bring you got up. something to say, you question as I answer my big mic. But you can't question nothing if you don't know nothing. I'm a what? I, whatever. You heard what I said. I'm a what? I, 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 I heard, heard what I said. What? You, you heard you what I said. How you preaching about God and trying to say something about somebody? Sound what does that mean? See, because the God that they taught y'all, this, look, this is what they taught y'all. This faggot right here. See, so when y'all hear the real word of God, it sounds so God darn unfamiliar. How you because gonna diss? These white how you gonna diss with somebody believe in? You sound dumb in the hole, bro. This Negro sounds sound sound stupid dumb. as hell. How I'm gonna diss with somebody believe in? Negro, you wrote on your face, you did something that people don't believe in. Right. Oh, tell me, you see how stupid you sound? See how stupid you look? Ignorance. Wrote my name on my face. Then wonder why I can't get a job. Wonder why they ain't hiding. Wonder I ain't got nothing. That's all I make is twelve dollars an hour. Now why I'm flipping burgers? You ain't doing nothing. I'm a mechanic. You ain't doing a damn thing. Now you ain't doing nothing. You got your own now. Your daddy. Your daddy. I work for him. Make thirty dollars an hour. Daddy. Cause your daddy. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't got no degree. Why would I not work with my dad when I can work with him? I bet you ain't got no degree. Hold on. Y'all see none of y'all standing right here on the. You! So if I pull up my college degree right now, and I went to college for three years. There you go. I thought you don't get you didn't get your degree in three years. Who didn't? God damn it. You can go to, you can go to school for nine months and get your mechanics degree. Put it up. 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 If you got a mechanic degree, you should have did some mechanics on that damn jacket and realize it don't fit. That's right! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> you should have did some mechanics on that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And then, yeah, God dang, you should have engineered that tattoo off your face. Negroes are stupid as hell. Hey. Stupid Negro. You don't want to fight. No. You don't want to. No. You don't want to. That's what I thought. Negroes always run their mouth. Blah, 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 blah. blah. I'm hard. I got a God darn tattoo on my face. I might hit like Mike Tyson. Why well, I gotta move? I'm enjoying y'all. 
Everybody got a plan, like they say, till they get punched in the mouth. Cause I yeah. sit right here and be fucking quiet. It don't matter what fucking color nah, I am. Nah, leave it alone. Just baby girl. For just, real. Nah, I ain't. I don't mean no disrespect. Just leave it alone, man. Right? We gotta deal with our people. Let's right. we got those Edomites going on. Hey. I just can't they all just roll around and just drop dead for all I can. Right. I, don't, I don't quite get it. I know y'all don't get it because it ain't for y'all. Right. It's for you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. right. That's what this Bible is for. Yeah. That's why we come out here. I but when we bring it out here, and I can promise you, I bet you that dude right there, his daddy white. Yeah. And for my, like, my daddy was white, sick ass bitch. I Excuse know. me, sorry. I know. Thank God my mother All of my people sick. What fucking pig? Pick it out. Give me that, as Esau. We did for real. But thank God no, Jesus no. came and no, pushed no. his. No. Right? No. So y'all no. want to tell it? Can you, just yeah, you know more about it? Thing. I'm being serious. On everything Great I love, can you tell me something about it? Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm going to show you exactly about your dad. I'm going to no, show you exactly no, about no, everybody no, in your race. Read. No, no, wait. This is the book of Hebrews. I'm chapter 12 just, and verse 16. Let's not be any fornicators. Any what? Any, any fornicators. Any what? Any fornicators. Any fornicators. Any fornicators. The most God done, uh, the most perverse man on the planet is who? Who came up with, with porn, uh, pornography? Probably the white man. The white man. Yes. Who yes. came up with bestiality? White man. Oh, Where did VD come from? Wow. White man. Well, the white man was doing what? Having sex with yeah. sheep. Yeah, sex with me every right. fucking night, baby. Me, Coco. Yeah, I know. I know it's the generation of curse breaker. I bet you. Show sure, all right. All oh, my kids. Oh, don't pay me. My kids are back in this. What? As Esau. Esau is the generation of the right. so-called white man Boy, in the Bible. What? So the Bible don't say white man. I know that's what y'all want to see in order for y'all to believe it. But the Bible says he's a red man. Because you've never seen a white man in your life. If a man came down this road right now, and he was this color, all y'all would go in shock. And it is sick. It is sick. Man, it was teaching me more. He's a red man. That's what the Bible called him. That's what we should be calling him. An Edomite. Wait! The white man gave himself. A white man, because everything is pure as white. So why would you give yourself a great name? Bring it up. Because you think you great. Then he gave y'all the color black. Because black means everything bad. Black money, black, black everything bad. To know that Jesus was with y'all? Like this? To know that y'all would even consider me? That's what they call you. But you know, like, you blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, y'all are the children of Israel. Y'all are God's chosen people. You not like everybody else. Everybody is not the same. That that what they told us. Give me uh First Maccabees one and forty one. Give me uh, uh Deuteronomy seven and six. Cause America, did y'all know the the Greeks are the first one to come up with democracy, right? Democracy was, was they had a whole lot of people person. just like so America. So I don't know all the words you said because I don't know. And they said, we all the same. We all equal. Right. What is that? But then when we look at the status in America, we're not all equal. That's right. I don't know what y'all think. If y'all think y'all equal, go over there and try to buy your house over in Highland Park. Wait, come on, have a green card. Cause you better not be no American Negro talking about you finna go live over there. Thanks for the truth, that's what I'm saying. For real, for real, so he's Hey, can you get out the people face? No, no, he was telling me the truth, he told me I need to talk to you. Yeah, I know. He said that I really am white just because my daddy's pink. For real, my dad's white, my mama's not. But I tell you what. You pink too. No fucking shit. <laughs> I hate it. See, that's funny how that, how she knows she is. But boy, we tell y'all black people, no. they 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 no, red people. Y'all be like, oh y'all wrong. She knows she is. I promise you, it's blood, it's sickness, she's not sick. See, she knows she's sick. No. Yeah, we all have. That's no, right. we ain't all. We all have sick. No. The U.S. they're sin free? Huh? There's people that are free of sin? We said not now. We repent. Now you're so right. Don't do it again. Exactly. So wait, that's what, that's what repent means. So you're telling me that if I'm part white, I'm incapable of it? 
No, let me tell you something. Your race of people have been an enemy to no my race of people ever. since the beginning. Oh, For sure. Exactly. Well, so now, the ghetto is, I'm telling you this, we specifically created all of this so that even white people would be racist. But I give me a, am prejudiced against what they do the government, all that shit. I totally agree with you on that. Bring it I'm out. say this, just because I'm part of those motherfuckers and I was raised with the freaking um, up there with all that damn money. No, no, I'm not smart. What I want to know is, what I want to know is. Well, listen, 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 listen. You're talking too much. Read it, listen. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Bring it out. Prepare, prepare slaughter. What? Prepare, prepare slaughter. slaughter. What? Prepare what? Prepare slaughter. Because your people never paid for this. No, sure they didn't. Okay, okay, Jesus. okay, okay, okay. Listen. I know that. Listen, listen, listen. Brother, for justice to be served, right, shouldn't somebody have to pay for this? Yes. Can you get away with this major crime and, and, and nobody got to pay for it? Right. That ain't justice, right? No, it ain't. That ain't justice, is it? Brother with the bat down on. Is that justice? Have they paid for that? So that means ain't no justice, right? And God said he'll what? He's a just God. He's a just God, right? So let's see what the justice got to do with this Bible. Let's see if God is just God or he's not. Because if God don't avenge that right there, that means he's not a just God. That means he lets anything goes on to the children and he ain't, ain't going to do nothing about it. Free. Prepare slaughter. Prepare what? Prepare slaughter. Prepare what? Prepare slaughter. What's slaughter? Slaughter means to kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill who? All of them. Read. I'm glad you said that. Read. Prepare slaughter for his children. For what? For his children. For what? For his children. He said prepare slaughter. See right there? That's one of his children. You are one of Edomite's children. You are the people's children that put God's children in slavery. He said prepare slaughter for his children. Not for the people who did it, but for the children of the people who did it. Right. Like you, like him, like that guy over there. Those are the children of Edomite. That's right. Those are the children God has said, prepare slaughter. Okay, so can I ask one more question? Mr. So-called white man over there, red man right there. If his daddy ain't of a, of a native, of a black, Hispanic, or Native American, you too. See, prepare slaughter like for him. Well, you gotta for him. Read. What? Prepare slaughter for, for his children. For the iniquity of their fathers. It said prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquities of their fathers. So right, we pay for it. But I want Hold to Hold on, question. because let me show you something. I just want to ask you one question. Read. Go ahead. What does that mean? So that means for me, just because I'm being punished, but I choose to be obedient to him, I'm not but, his child. But, but the thing about it is. I'm just asking also. The thing about it is. You were never his children. No, I wasn't. That's right. And That's right. the thing I is, I've been adopted. You, you can never do these law statutes and commandments. No, it's not. That's right. The, the law statutes and commandments, because you say you, you love him when you do what he say do. That means, first of all, you don't. You run around here in these little short pants. You're not supposed to have that. That's right. You're not supposed to be running around here acting like a man. No, I'm you not. You got your hands on back, your head on back. No, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. I get what I am fighting against and what I'm becoming, uh -huh. okay? I get that. But if I'm every single day changing those ways, okay? And then when I come back into the environment, just because of the environment, it takes me back. But then as I'm leaving back it's out, good. he sit there and gives me the word of the power, and then I go, so you're telling me, you're not telling me that everything I wake up every day and I choose to make something different than what six, I'm sick. So I want to know. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 16. Read on. Let's not be any fornicator or profane person, person as Esau. That's who? As Esau. That's your forefather. That's his forefather. That's his forefather. So he said, and then we had read, prepare slaughter for the sins of your forefathers. See, y'all don't understand. We are paying. We had to go through slavery That's right. because the sins of, of our, our forefathers. Father. That's why I teach, right. I, right. We had to go through Jim Crow laws because of the sins of our forefathers. Oh. We had to go through racism in America because of the sins of our forefathers. Right. So now, for there to be justice, what makes you think that they don't have to go through the stuff that their forefathers That's right. Uh, their forefather was a, went around the world rape, robbing, and murdering everybody. That's right. Day of my childhood. Who for one morsel of me 
sold his birthright. He did what? He sold, sold his birthright. Meaning he didn't want to have nothing to do with God. So don't come to God now talking about, I want to have something to do with him. You don't live your whole life without him. Teach up. Uh, you want to beg for something from him now when you ain't having Mr. problems. Captain no, Mr. you didn't go out and help them Negroes when they were struggling. That's right. I just came well, he knew how did Edward, when he wouldn't have inherited the blessing, he was, was rejected. rejected. He was what? He, he was, was rejected. rejected. He was what? He, he was, was rejected. rejected. You so-called white man, when you go to God and you think you praying, God said he rejects you. That's right. Uh, Teacher, I, I know y'all didn't know the Bible said this stuff. Bring it up. It says that Jesus It says he reject way. you. And then what? Okay, I'm going to say one well, he time. found no place of repentance. He found what? He, he found, found no place, place of repentance. repentance. So everybody can repent. He found no place of repentance. Y'all been lied to. Right. No shit. Y'all been but lied to you. like so a son of God. And that's why you don't like us. Because right. we come out and tell you what the Bible really oh, says. Okay, so what is and then y'all looking at us like, man, hold on. No, no, I didn't make Jesus this up. I'm just reading body. what your lying ass pastor wouldn't do. Oh, sir, see, let's just see. Free. Though he sold it carefully with, with tears. tears. And when you go crying to God, oh, God, please let, let me go with him. Please, God. Pardon what happened? Pardon me. Yeah, you is rejected. <laughs> Right. 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 Verse 17 from the top. What he knew? How did ever me? When he would have inherited the blessing, oh, see, he, was he, he, was he was rejected. He was rejected. He was what? He, he was rejected. rejected. Read. But he found no place of repentance. He saw the so called white man would have no place of repentance. Say Even yeah. after he cries, but it's saying it's and saying he's gonna cry, Jesus. cause that's all they do. They whine. As soon as they go out and murder somebody and go to court, they get the crime. It wasn't my fault. Oh, she she fell out the boat and just wind up at the bottom of the ocean. I've caused all my problems. Bring. Though he sold you, you with tears. Though he come crying, please. That's how they do every god darn time they get in trouble. They'll go do the most heinous crime. Like, uh, what was that, Bernie Murdoch? Bur 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 what I don't understand. Where he done stole billions of dollars. What I don't get how much, much time? Billions, billions of dollars. And I've asked you. As soon as they give him a life sentence, or they give him his crime, he get the crime. And that crime, okay. I'm asking read. you what's in the work. You're still forcing him to read, but you ain't answering no, one question. No, he's asked. not it. Carefully, with tears. No tears. That's it. No, that's it. Oh boy, and on that note, I'm going to bring up the next teacher. Hey. Who's coming up here? Hey, Roger, you want to have that? Oh, yeah, please, I just want to know, because they keep texting you. Uh, I just want to know. I will buy my shiaki and how we We're here to wake up the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And Jesus Christ did not call, come from the so-called white man. That's right. All right? Jesus Christ did not, so called Jesus Christ, Hamashiach, and Hawashai did not come from white people, man. Right there. All right? I'm not. I just got to teach you. Let me get Romans 13, 11, man. Right there. Hey, let me get Matthew 15. I've asked over and over 15. one question, and y'all have up, what's up, me what's up, up. What's your question? Uh, Jesus died. Let me get Matthew 15. Got that? Started, nah, started like 20. I got Yeah, like, yeah, like 21. Go ahead. All right, now listen. I'm going to tell you a story, OK? Watch this, bring it up. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 21. Bring it out. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord. Okay, so the so-called white woman came up to Christ. And she said, Lord, have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on me. Right? Oh, uh, African. All right, read. But they went Israelite. Read. Behold, this woman of Canaan. That's so tired, white woman. Read. Came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, uh -huh. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Uh, read. Thou son of David. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Read. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. So this woman's like, Lord, have mercy on me. My daughter has, she's possessed by a demon, right? Read. And, but he answered her, not a word. Christ didn't even say nothing to a woman. She, he, she was basically doing the same thing you're doing. Yeah, but what about me, Lord? Lord? Hey, this woman is doing the exact same thing that you're doing. Bring it out. And you know what? Christ kind of looked at her and ignored her and just kept walking, man. Read. 
But he answered her, not a word. Nah, he consulted her. But he, he answered, answered her, not, not a word. word. So why did Christ not say nothing to this woman that was begging and pleading? Because she was begging and pleading. She wasn't serious. Hey, him. we can find out why. Read, and the disciples came and besought him, saying, uh -huh. send her away. Read that again. Send her away. The Christ's 12 disciples said, Lord, send her away. That's right. She's begging and pleading just like you. Christ ignored her. And then the disciples even said, Lord, send her away. Why? Why? Let's find out why. Read. For she cried after uh, us. Because she cried after us. She, you doing exactly what the Indian scriptures cried don't after, lie, man. Cried after hey, us. Hey, right. Now, now, now the heathen want to cleave to us, man. No. Hey, when the children of Israel is waking up, okay, we're coming back into the remembrance who we are. Now, hey, we rebuilding the temple. They want to help us build up our, our walls, man. Yes, hey, right. we're not, hey, we're not dealing with other nations. Right. But he answered and said, uh -huh. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Hey, sent to who? Unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And Christ said he ignored them because he ain't he ain't dealing with nobody but the Israelites. Okay? He come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Not the so-called white woman. Not the so-called Asian woman. Okay? Not the so-called Arab. Right? He's only coming for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. Right? Let me get Luke chapter 1 and verse 68, man. Hey, just basic precepts, man. Eat them right up, man. Come on, bring right? it up. No. Come on, man. Oh, so bring it up. This is the book of Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Bring it up. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. No, be, blessed be the Lord God of everybody. Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord God of, of Israel. Israel. Look at Joel 2 and 27. Bring it up. Right. For he had visited and redeemed his people. For he had visited and redeemed his people. Who is... Christ's people. Christ's people. Yeah. The ones that believe in you. Everybody. Let me get Matthew. Let me get Matthew chapter two and verse six real quick. Hold that precept. Hey, we finna show y'all who's Christ's people is, man. Let me get Matthew chapter two and verse six. Whoever get there. All right, bring it up. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 2, verse 6. Bring it up. Bring it up. And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, uh -huh. art thou not least among the princes of Judah? Uh -huh. For out of thee shall come a governor uh -huh. that shall rule my people. My people, read. Israel. Who? Israel. Who? Israel. My people, Israel. So now we know who God's people is. So let's go back to Luke 168. All right, hey, hey, y'all have to read this Bible precept above precept. Hey, Christ ain't, hey, the Most High God ain't dealing with all the nations, man. That's right. You so-called blacks, the Spanish, and Native Americans, y'all are the Israelites. That's right. Y'all are the Hebrew Israelites, man. All right, this Bible is y'all history. This is real black history, right? Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, and verse 68. Read out. No. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. Right. Read. For he had visited and redeemed his people. His people, read. And had raised up in horn of salvation. And he's raised up, raised up a horn of salvation, which is Christ, man. All right, read. For us in the house of his servant David. Uh-huh. As he speak by the mouth of his holy prophets, Read. which have been since the world began. Since, I've been, since the world began, man. Christ is only coming for, for uh, Israel. Go ahead, bring out Joel 2 and 27. What you got? Oh yeah, keep reading. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved by our enemies. Right. Hey, who is Israel's enemies? Hey, we're we gonna get that too. Read. And from the hand of all that hate us. And the hand of all them that hate us. Let's get Joel real quick, and then we're gonna go to Psalms 83. Read. Y'all been our enemies. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Bring it up. Bring it up. Shall not know. Thy I am in the midst of Israel. He's in the midst of who? In the midst of Israel. He's in the midst of so-called white woman. In the midst of Israel. Hey, the most high don't he ain't dealing with the white man. Right? The Lord ain't dealing with all these nations. He's dealing with the so-called black and Hispanic man. Read. And that I am the Lord, your God. He's the Lord who God? Your God. The Lord God said he's the Lord, your God. Read. And none else. Nah, he's everybody's God. And none else. And none else, man. Straight up, man. I had to talk man to eat my turn baffles out, man. She, she can't deal with it, man. Right? Bring it out. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, and verse 1. So we're going to see who the enemies of the 
of the Israelites, right? We finna see who the enemy of the Israelites are. Read. Keep not those silence. Oh God. Lord, keep not your, your silence, man. Lord, we are tired of going through this oppression, man. Hey, we trying to come up out this captivity, man. We crying out to our God. We are repenting right now, right? We coming back to who we are. Read. Hold not thy feet, uh -huh. and be not still, O oh God. Uh -huh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. Whoa, whoa. thy enemies make a tumult. Let's see where our enemies are. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. And them that hate thee have lifted up the head, they proud, man. Hey, and we know the people that hate us, man. They show us every day. They, they show us every day. She, she don't want to deal with me. She don't, she, she don't want to deal with me. Read. They have taken crafty counsel. They have did what? They have taken a crafty counsel. They have taken Crafty Council, man. Three strikes and you out. No. Right? Three strikes, you out. Right? Read against thy people. Uh -huh. And consult it against thy hidden ones. And consult it against thy hidden ones, man. Hey, the so called black and the Spanish and Native no. Americans are the ones that's hidden in the, in, the, in the prison cells. Right? It's hidden in the jail cells, man. Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off. From being a nation. And that's what they did. They cut us off from being a nation. We don't even know who we are anymore, man. We tell ourselves by the names of two white people. Leo Scipio's Africanus in America best scoop the best best boots. African American, man. How, how, how do we come from two white people? It don't make sense. Everybody else on this earth know where they come from, man. Except the so-called black man. Y'all don't understand it, y'all. Y'all are no, y'all are the true Jews. Y'all are the real Jews, right? Right. All right yeah, hey, y'all have to come back to who y'all are. Y'all have to come back to your to your heritage. Let me get some red chapter one, seventeen and verse eleven, real quick. You know? Read that the name of Israel may be no more. That the name of Israel will be no more. Yeah, hey, it is, it is like a fair. Hey, the children of Israel are walking around and don't even know who they are, man. Read and remembrance. Uh -huh. What they have consulted together with one consent, Reek. they are a confederate against Edom. Uh -huh. The tabernacles of Edom. So all these nations are confederate against us. The tabernacles of Edom, the so-called white man. Hey, we have enemies, y'all. Everybody is not equal, right? Read. And the Ishmaelites. And the Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabs. Read. Of Moab. Of Moab, the so-called Chinese man. Y'all have to know the nationalities in the Bible. All y'all nationalities are in this Bible. You have to know who you truly are, though. The white man gave every nation a by word. That's right. So we wouldn't know who we are in this Bible, man. Read. And the Hagarines. And the Hagarines, so called Spanking Africans. Good ball. The so called Spanking Africans. And Amy. The so called Japanese man. Read. And Amalek. And Amalek. The so called Jewish man that's acting like us, which is an Edomite. Not only did they steal us from the West Coast of Africa, they stole your nationality, man. They say, nah, y'all ain't nothing but niggas. We the Jews now, man. Hey, man, y'all should be mad, man. Read the Philistines. The Philistines, the big ass Africans. Read with the inhabitants of Tyree. Uh -huh, read. A shirt also is going with them. Read. They have hoping the children of Lot. Salah. Salah, man. So the Israelites do have enemies. Everybody is not equal, man. Right? What you got, huh? Well, it's all right. So look, you see the question what? about adoption. No, 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 for real. So you're telling me on the code that if I sit there, even though I fight, and I'm telling you for real, for real. I done already told you. No. Hey, Christ ain't dealing with the so called white. Hey, we can do this all way. It's easy. Give her adoption. Hey, what's hey you, you, you got that? If I choose. No, go ahead, bring it up. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 3, verse 32. Bring it, bring it up. Or is there any other people? that knoweth thee besides Israel. Besides oh, who? Israel. Besides, besides Israel. Israel. The Lord is not dealing with no other nation but the yeah. nation of Israel. Right. Thus says the Lord, man. So they don't even understand it. Read so or what so. generation you have so believe thy covenant as Jacob. Hey, so who who are the covenants for? The covenants for Jacob, and, um, and, and Abraham, and, and Jacob. Jerusalem and, and Abraham. You see, she she no, just out, she she confounded no, and confused, man. Because Edomite like, don't know what's going on, man. Hey, let me get the covenants real quick. Let me get the covenants real quick. What you got? Let me read out. This is the book of Romans, chapter nine, and verse four. Who are Israelites? Uh -huh. So who pretended to us? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, you just I, hold on, hold on. You ain't answering the question. I'm answering the question right now, but you but you went in your damn pink mouth, man. See, and I know. Shut the hell up. Right? So it's just because. Read. Who? Be quiet and listen, Edomite. 
Look, I, I, look, I'm asking you, I ain't really got to deal with you. I'm out here for my people. I'm, I'm finna be like Christ and just ignore your ass. That's right. Right? right. Bring it up. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who, who are Israelites? Israelites? Who are Israelites? That's right. Who are Israelites? That's right. who are Israelites? We, to, to whom pertain the adoption? adoption. To whom pertain the what? To, to whom, whom pertain the adoption. adoption. Hold on. The who, hold on. Go back to Israelites. The who are who? Who, who are Israelites? The, the who are who? Who, who are Israelites? Read to who whom pertain the adoption. adoption. The Israelites, the adoption pertain to the Israelites. That's, That's the so-called, right. not the so-called pink ass no, white woman, man. Read. That's right. And, and the, the glory. glory. And the glory. Read. Right. And, and the covenant. And the covenants. Read. And, and the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. Read. And the service of God. The service of God. We the only one that can truly serve God, man. Right? Show you that I'm mixed with different in countries. Okay, Why go ahead. Who is over all? Uh -huh. God bless forever. God bless forever, man. Hey, Edomite, pay attention and listen. Edomite, come. Hey, see, this Edomite ain't 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 trying to hear Hey, uh, I choose him. Hey, my brother with the yellow sweater on. What's your nationality, man? To try. Are, are you a so-called African Please American? So-called black man? If you are Jamaican? A child of God, if you're sitting in those things of true nationality, it's Israel, you're an Israelite, man. That's right. Jesus just, right? just, just ignored the one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Who was that name? I'm doing Jesus. the same thing. Yeah. Look at Hebrews yeah. chapter 8, verse 8. Uh -huh. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. No, he's going to make a new covenant with the so called red ass white woman. With the house of Israel. With the house of Israel. Read. And the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the days when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they continue not in my covenant. Because they continue not in my covenant. That's it, man. What you got? Yo, go ahead, read that. Oh, man. Oh, man, he's not even paying attention no more, man. Hey, I'm going to get my clothes on. Because I'm not just white. I'm black, French, I'm Hispanic, hey, German. Brother with, I'm with the I'm brother with the great bandana on. Brother with the great bandana on. What's your nationality? You've been out here long. What I do is every day. What's your nationality? I get home. Israelite. That's right, bro. That's right. That's right. So you, and I see you, man. You got a nice beard, bro. That's, that's, that's a commandment. So you already keep the commandments already, bro. But, but there's just a few things. Hey, let me get uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12, man. Because you know that you're Israelite, man. Right? Let me get uh, Psalm chapter 119 and verse 59, man. Okay? They don't get 11959. Let, so let me get that one first. Let me get because bro, you know you were Israelite, man. This is the truth, man. Right? Go ahead, bring it up. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 119. Verse 59. Bring it up. I haven't got cut out here. Verse 59. I don't know on my way. Hey, bro. This is King David. This is this is your forefather. This is real black history, man. So called black man. He said, I thought on my way, bro. Read. And turned my feet unto thy testimony. Hey, and he turned his feet to these law statutes and commandments. Read. I made haste. Nah, he took his time. I, I made, made haste. Nah, I rolled the blunt. I, I made haste. haste. Nah, I played PS5. I made haste. Hey, man, King David said, I made haste, man. He hurried up. He hurried up and did this thing. Read. And delayed not uh -huh. to keep thy commandments. To keep the commandments. So, brother, you, 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 you have to, hey. Can't just know that you're Israelite, okay? It's, it's, it's more, man, it's the most high got you. Man, move out the way, Esau. Let's get, get out the way. Man, that ain't, that's not, that's all right, leave it. No, no, leave it, no, brother. No, no, man, brother, was, brother, listen. That was brother, brother, you hey, man, me. Say, man, say I'm coming immediately, man. Right, right. Man, uh, brother, getting edified. You see how the so-called white man? She's proving that she's our damn enemy, man. Right. We ain't out here for you, man. Right. Hey, uh, bring this out. Hold on, bring it on. You see that? You, you, you see how? Hey, this is truly our enemy, man. Right. Hey, man, the Lord is making it manifest. That's what Satan do. He's blocking us from getting this word, man. You saw how black Spanish and Native Americans. Right. Bring up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require? So, 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 to walk in all his ways uh -huh. and to love him. You have to love God, brother. Hey, y'all, uh, how do y'all love God? Teach. Does anybody know how to love God? Why do you? That's how they love God. Sister, do you know how to uh, love, love God? Do you love God? How do you show God that you uh, love, love him? 
No, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. Read this. Read this. This is what the judge. 14. Everybody's 18. Bring it up. If he love me, going keep my commandments. If you love God, you do what? Keep my commandments. If you love God, you keep his commandments, brother. That's the only way that you can show God that you love him. Just like, just, just like I was getting on this. Even my like, talking about she love God, she walking around, she suck the nasty ass, look the pink legs out, man. Oh, I want to see that, man. Right? That's the whole home, man. Damn. Bring it up. And to love him. It's to serve the Lord thy God. You have to love and serve the Lord your God, man. Read with all thy heart. All your heart, brother. For real, man. Read. And with all thy soul. And with all your soul. Read. To keep the commandments. To do what? To, to keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. To do what? To, to keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. To keep the commandments. That's, that's, that's your requirement. You being the Israelite. Okay? You, you, you're you not here to, to do your own free will, man. All right? You can't just do what you want to do. The Lord put you here for a reason. To serve him. All right, we are the servants of the Most High. I see that. Uh, okay, read. To keep the commandments of the Lord uh -huh. and His statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, which He command you when this, this day. day. Now that was back in the Bible days. This, this day. day, which He command you this day, brother. That's right. Read for thy good. Nah, because the Lord mean you harm. For, for thy, thy good. good. It's only for your good, brother. All right. It's only for your good, Reek. Is it? Okay, what you got? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 5, and verse 7. Bring it out. Bring it out. Make no tear to turn to the Lord. Brother, don't make no tear to turn to the Lord, man. Man, you are a king. You are royalty on this. Are you a king in real life, bro? That's right. You come from a royal blood, like for real. All the other nations are really supposed to be bad. When you walk down the street, this either might supposed to bow down and kiss the man, brother. Literally. Supposed to walk, they supposed to buy that and lick the dust up off your feet, man. You don't even know who you are. 49, but man, you have to keep the commandments, man. The kingdom of heaven is, is, is for the Israelites. All these other nations are going to be serving us, man. All right? All of the other nations weren't serving us until we broke the commandments, man. That's how we ended up with slavery on slave ships. Y'all don't even know if slavery on slave ships is in the Bible. How who's going to be in the field of time, man? That's in the book of Deuteronomy 28. It's talking about you. The Lord prophesied about this a long time ago. He's looking at me. Right? Shit. He's looking at me. Look at me. From day to day. He's putting on out from day to day, bro. Read the question. Hey, man. The same color day. I'm telling you. I hear this word. Hey, that's that Christ right there, man. That's Sean Vance. It's Sebo, nasty ass Edomite, man. It's just they see you like that. Damn wild man, man. What sudden shall the wrath of the Lord come forth? The sudden of the wrath of the Lord come forth, man. Hey, let me get some wrath. I'm going to bring out one more precept. No, no, no. Okay, let me get. You already went? Let me get some wrath chapter 5, man. Let me let me get some wrath chapter 5. Uh, damn, you got 5. We're going to start at like verse 5 or something like that. No, we're going to start at verse 1. But finish it. Oh, oh, that was you read? I was saying, because they reminded me of that. Yeah, read. 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 Yeah, Read and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Hey, don't walk in the ways of your heart, man. All right, y'all can't, y'all can't do what y'all want to do out here. You, you can't think that you know better than the Most High God, man. Read and say thus: Who shall control me for my work? Read that again. And say thus: Who shall control me for my work? Because there's a lot of people that think the things that they do and the things that they gain, they do it on their own, not realize it's the Most High God to give it to you. A lot of times, a lot of times Satan be giving you gifts too, man, and have you all bugged up, man. And thinking that it's from God, but it's really from man. Satan give gifts, man. Alright? Read. But the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. Because the Lord will surely revenge your pride, man. Hey, y'all gotta shake your pride out, man. Alright, y'all have to come back to your heritage. Alright, we
Can we get that real quick? Let's get uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and 11 real quick. And yeah, yeah, bring it out. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. But uh, read that one. Oh, then you close the book. <laughs> hey man, don't say that you see it, man. And what has happened to me, man? Y'all can't just keep pouring your grace out. You so-called black Hispanic and Native American man. We out here for y'all, man. We out here for the Israelites. Read the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter eight, eight verse eleven. Read up. Get up. Because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily. Because the sentence against against the evil work is not executed speedily. Just because you sin it and you smoking cigarettes and you didn't smoking weed and you didn't horn out sisters, you didn't slaughter. Powder, and you just pop your pills just because citizens didn't come speedily. Read. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men even is fully dogs, set in them. To do the dogs, and to that's why y'all heart is set against the weakness that y'all do. Because the most high, man, Christ is bringing out grace and mercy, and you just misusing it, man. Y'all can't do that. Y'all right. can't do that, man. You say, you say I ain't never wanted the most high gonna put you to death, man. Straight up. Hey, it's two deaths, man. You got this physical death, and then you got the lake of fire later on, man. Y'all gotta understand that. Read. So a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God. Hey, it's gonna be well with them that fear God, man. Y'all have to, hey man, y'all have to turn from y'all wickedness, man. All right, read. Which fear before him, but it shall not be well with the wicked. But it shall not be well with who? But it shall not be well with the wicked. Nah, it's gonna be all good for the wicked. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Hey y'all, y'all know y'all doing wicked stuff. Stop doing wicked things. Buying and selling on the on the unsafe. Man. Right? Man, who we got, man? Who we got? Go, go ahead. And finish it. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before God. Because he feareth not. Hey, you got to fear God. Hey, let me show you how to properly fear God. And it all goes back to the commandments, brother. That's all God I care about. I'm going to tell you. Let's get, um, let's say, the fear of the most high. Let's just get Psalms 111 and verse 10 real quick. Let me get Psalms chapter 111, verse 10. This is the fear of the Lord. This is how you fear. This is how you know that you truly fear God. Bring it out. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111, yeah. verse 10. Bring it out. Get out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Hey, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. True right. wisdom. Not this, not this wisdom that this world gives you is, is, is not true wisdom, man. That's right. right. Read. A good understanding. Hey, what? A good, good understanding. A good understanding of these scriptures, man. And like in a good understanding of the most high and how he thinks and, and the things that he wants, man. A good understanding. Read. Have all they that do his commandments. Have all they that do his commandments, man. That's all he can. You have to not listen to his commandments. You have to observe. You have to listen and do them, okay? Faith, faith without works is dead. The works are keeping the commandments, man. Right? Read. This praise and dirt forever. And the Lord praise and do it forever, man. So you show God that you fear him by keeping his commandments, man. By, 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 by keeping his commandments. That's why we're getting shot down in the uh, street, man. It's the most high doing this, man. The most high is the one that killed, man. Right? Man, let me get uh, Deuteronomy 32. What's that, eight, nine? What is that? I kill. 32 and 39. Y'all have to understand it's the most high that kill. We give, we give the devil too much credit, man. All right? Yeah, Satan kills, but hey, but you have to understand, Satan works for the most high God. Satan is created for God's wrath. And I can, hey, man, we're gonna get that. What is that? Second product uh in Job, there's so many precepts. But Lord, like, say, put you in, go down there and give. Straight up, man. God created good and evil. Go ahead, bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 39. Bring it out. See now that I, even I, am he, uh -huh. and there is no God with me. God said, I am he, and there is no other God with me, man. That's right. There ain't no God with me. Ain't nobody equal to me. Satan can't battle the most high God. That's right. another fable that's not in the Bible, but, but we taught that. It was a war in heaven, right? We I kill. I do what? I, I kill. kill. No, God don't kill. I, I kill. kill. Hey, so when you see little Pookie getting shot down the street and getting got, that's the most high doing that, man. That's right. Hey, man, brother's living wicked. Hey, how come every time we go to a damn funeral and we know little Pookie and Ray Ray was wicked as hell in their life, but everybody got the, they, they picture on the shirt with the damn clouds and the rainbow like they going to heaven, man. Look it up. That's, uh -huh. a, that's a damn lie, man. The most high kill, man. The most high ain't playing. He, hey, he's not out hugging kisses all the time. And he get to a point where, he where he's sick and tired. He killed children, man. The most high killed little, little children, man. Yeah, we should bring out the sheep bears. Read. And I make it live. The Lord said he killed and make it live. Read. I wound. I, I what? I, I wound. The most high say he wound. Man, man, my wife homegirl was riding the car 
on somebody at the store, this dude pull out a rifle shooting at this dude and blew a damn foot out, man. It's his damn rifle, man. The Lord say he did that, man. Most high key, most high key, Satan works for the most high God, man. Hey, let me let's let's hey, let's get that in Job, man. Hey, let me get that account. Damn. What's that account where where the angels kept coming up asking the Lord, hey? Uh, we're gonna put a lion spear on it. What's that? Is that, is that Chronicles? Hey, you, you give me Job and you get that, man. I, hey, hey, the Lord say prove our things. First Thessalonians 5 to the 1. So, brother, we're gonna prove for I'm not gonna ignore your um, question, all right? We got you. Read. This is the book of Job, chapter 1, and verse 11. Uh -huh. But put forth thine hand now and touch all that he had, and he will curse thee to thy face. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he had is in thy power. Hold on, read that again. Behold, all that he had is it's in thy power. power. Read. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went up forth from the presence of the Lord. So Satan left from the first of all, when he went up to the Lord, he gave supplication to the Lord. He went up to the heaven. There goes, Lord, here I am. May Satan work for the most high God. Now he's the, now we all know the story of, of, of Job, right? All right, keep reading. Verse 13, and there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating, eating and drinking, uh -huh. one in their eldest brother's house. I did, what, the, the part where it said don't uh, kill them. Okay, read this in, watch this, watch this, read that. Verse 12, let's talk. Watch this. And the Lord said unto Satan, uh -huh. behold, all that he had is in thy power. So the Lord told Satan, all that he have, all his belongings is in your power. Satan, do what you want to do. Read, only upon himself. Put not forth thy hand. They say, but uh, uh, don't take Job's life, man. I'm gonna let you do all this. Don't take his life, though. Man, it's the most high that they give you damn cancer, man. He said, man, hey, we, man, we're gonna get this. Go ahead, bring this up. Watch this. Read. The book of, uh, watch this. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 22, verse number 18. Read it up. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell thee that he will prophesy no good concerning me, but evil? And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him. So, hey, the prophet looked up, and he saw the Lord God sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven with him. It means all the angels, right? Read. And all the hosts of heaven standing by him. Uh -huh. On his right hand. On his right hand. Then you got the righteous angels, the holy angels. Read. And on his left. And on his left hand, the demons, man. And Satan. Man, hey, there's demons in the damn third heaven. Man, hey, the Lord is in control of everything. That's right. He made everything for his purpose, man. Right. You have to understand that, man. Hey, there's no fire place, place underground kind of hell, but Satan got a damn pitch for it. He's red and he got damn horns, man. Now nah, that's just a fable, man. That's not thus says the Lord. Read. And the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab? Okay, so the Lord is asking advice. He really don't need advice, but he's asking advice from, from his demons. He's, he's, he's asking advice from the demons, right? He said, how can I persuade Ahab? He's talking to his demons, right? Read. That it may go up and fall in Ramah Gilead. Uh -huh. And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. So one demon said, Lord, I'm going to go up there. I'm going to have this woman come up and I'm gonna kill her. Then the other demon came and said, Lord, I'm going I'm to I'm kind of have him I'm on this horse. He's going to fall off a cliff. Okay? These demons giving the, giving the most high all these ideas. It's like, nah, not that. Nah, not that. Read. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord. So there came a spirit that stood before the most high God. Read. And said, I will persuade. Uh huh. And the Lord said unto him, "We're with." The Lord say, "You gonna persuade him? How? What you what you got in uh, mind, right?" Read. And he said, "I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit." And to be a what? I will be a, a lying, lying spirit. spirit. So is this a holy righteous angel, or is this a damn demon? It's a damn devil, man. All right. This is a lying spirit. They came to the Lord. Look, Lord, I'm gonna be a lying spirit. Read. In the mouth of all his prophets, in the mouth of all his prophets, I'm gonna go down and, I, and I'm gonna be in the ear of all his prophets and have them all bugged out, have them telling them lies to, to, the, to the king. Read. Yeah. Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets. You see how the Lord put a lot. The Lord put a lying spirit. Hey, the, put, put, hey, but Saul, get that first Samuel. Let me get the count of first Samuel with um. When the Most High God sent an evil spirit on uh, Saul, man. What's that, uh, 18 or something like that? Yeah, yeah, man, we're we gonna, we, we gonna finish this out. So I'm just giving you different accounts how the Most High is in control of Satan. So Satan is an employee of the Most High God, man. Right. You know, sister, what's your nationality? 
Ethiopian. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Read. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, You know what? That's a good idea, demon. Go ahead and do that. Be a lion spirit and just spread chaos. Hey, when all hell and chaos break out, it's the Lord sending send the spirits to and fro, fro out of the earth, man. You have to understand that. Wait, hey, did, you, did you find another one? And, um, you, you got me? Well, um, I just want to get one more. I, and then I'm going to jump out the mic, man. Uh, 18. Find it, you found it, you found it? Yeah, nah, but, no, he sent, a, he sent an evil spirit on south. Okay, watch this, read up. The book, oh, let's get over, so like, the book, the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 18. It was 18. It's not 18? Here. Okay, read up. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16. Okay. And verse uh, 14. Read up. No, verse 13, Bring then up. Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. Uh -huh. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David uh -huh. from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to the rock. But the spirit of the Lord departed hey, from Saul. Hey. So the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. He ain't gonna listen. Three. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul uh -huh. in an evil spirit. In a what? In an evil spirit. So the Lord took the, the Holy Spirit from Saul and sent an evil spirit to King Saul. You see how the Lord sent evil spirits? Read. And an evil spirit from the Lord. Uh -huh. Troll. Hold on. An evil spirit from who? From, from the, the Lord. Lord. From who? From, from the, the Lord. Lord. An evil spirit from the Most High God, not Satan, man. Yeah, Satan is in control. He gives Satan the command, and Satan uses his minions to do what he needs to do, man. Read. Troubled him. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God. An evil spirit from who? An evil spirit, spirit from God. God. No, God that didn't create evil. An evil, evil spirit, spirit, spirit from God. God. An evil spirit from the Most High God, man. Man, the Lord, the Lord ain't playing with y'all, man. Right? You so-called black Spanish and Native Americans, I'm out here for y'all because y'all the Israelites. We supposed to be turning back to the commandments. Let me, get, let me get 1 Kings chapter 8 real quick. 8, we'll start at like 46. Read. Oh, that's it on that? From, from God, troubling things. Right. right, so, hey, a lot of times when we're troubled in the, in the mind, you know, we're like, damn, why do I feel like this? Because, man, the Lord will put a demon on you. And y'all got to realize, you got to shake that, man. Hey, have y'all ever woke up out of the bed and you just mad for no damn reason? What you mean? What you mean when you say the Lord? Man, the Lord put spirits on you when you breaking the commandments and you not doing His will, right? When you, when you not doing the Most High will, yeah, all hell break loose. It, it ain't all good, man. Right? Hey, but we have to repent, man. We have to repent. I gotta get out the mic in a second, so I'm gonna hit y'all with a few more. Quick. What what you got? First Kings. Hey, get hold of First Kings. Let me get um Acts chapter three and verse nineteen, man. Okay, I'm gonna get off. Acts chapter 3 verse 19, because ultimately, bro, we have to repent. You so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, y'all are the Hebrew Israelites in this Bible. Y'all are the true Jews. Y'all have to repent. Christ is on his way. America is about to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man. And you don't want to get left behind, man. Come on, y'all. Hey, man, I ain't heard not one word from y'all. Acts chapter 3 verse 19, one word. repent ye therefore. Hey, the Lord say repent, hey, repent. Hey. And be converted. And be converted. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. You have to repent so the Lord will blot out your sins, bro. All right? Let me get in Psalm chapter 19, verse 7 real quick. So like it, yeah. Just Psalm 19, verse 7. Yeah, I'm going to show you how, how, to, how to be converted, man. Bring it out. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. Bring it out. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 1, verse 19. Bring verse 7. Bring All right. The law of the Lord is perfect. Right in the soul. So you can be perfect. The, 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 the law of the Lord is perfect. That's what's perfect. And that's what converts you. That's a, a it say repent and be converted. You have to keep the commandments, bro, all right? I see y'all with that sippy sip. Hey, when that sun go down, get off this mic, I'm gonna get my sippy sip on, man. All right? It, 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 it ain't nothing wrong with drinking, but in moderation, man. That's right. Right? Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple, brother. Right. The simple meaning those who don't have the knowledge of the Most High God. The Lord look at you as, as simple, man, because you really don't know what's going on. You're broken at noon day. Okay? You have to come back to the commandments. You really have to keep the commandments, bro. So, you know you're an Israelite. What, what uh, tribe are you, are you from? I'm in the Uh-huh. It's 630. It's it, that's right because because where is thou shalt not rape? Where is thou shalt not rape in the in the uh, Ten Commandments? That's because rape falls under murder. You see what I'm saying? There's law, statutes, and commandments. There's 613 commandments. Hey, how many how many laws and commandments are in the state of Texas? Like legally? 
like over 2,000, and we try our best to keep all of them damn lives, right? That's why we ain't sitting in jail, right? 50,000 lives is just in, in the damn U.S. And hey, if you keep all of them, the law, you just 613, and guess what? You don't even have to do all of them, because some, some only pertain to women. You got a woman, so you go some, you don't have to keep. Some only pertain to people that have livestock and animals, which you don't, which you probably don't have. Don't have lots of sheep. You have a lot of land as laws you have to keep. So we don't have a lot of these things, so that cut off a lot of the laws right, right there. But we still have to keep. If you do get land, yeah, you have to refer back to the scriptures, and you have to do things like thus says the uh, Lord, man. That's right. right. 613 commandments, and it ain't hard. Like growing your beard, man. That's that's easy. All right. By uh wearing fringes. Hey, let me get let me get uh notice fifteen thirty eight, man. I'm a, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a few laws. Let me get fringes and let me get savage, man. You know, I'm gonna get two more before I get out. Read. I said that I'm proud. Twenty precepts, like he's saying, I'm get out. Read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto who? Speak, speak unto, unto the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. Lord said, speak unto the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel. Right? Read. And bid them uh -huh. that they make the fringes and the borders of their garments. Hey, the Lord said that you make fringes in the borders of your garments, man. That's why we, you see these Israelites. Okay, they, they, we, we wear fringes in the border of our garments. Read. Throughout the generations. Throughout when? Throughout, Throughout the generations. generations. Throughout your generations. We're still generating, so we're still supposed to be doing these things right now. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And that's why on our fringes we have a, a border of ribbon of blue, which represents royalty, man, because we are the original royalty, man. Hey, every night, hey, it can't nobody do nothing better than us, man. Hey, look at this damn uh, Ethiopian, man. You know what I'm saying? But read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. That you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So the fringes are so we can remember the commandments of, of the Lord. Read. And do them. And do what? And, and do, do them. them. And do them. Read. And that you seek not after your own heart. And that you seek not after your own heart, man. So the, the fringes, when we look down, okay, we see a fine sister. You know me and you know what we think went first. When you look down, there ain't no fringes right there. Put you back into remembrance. Hey, we supposed to be keeping the commandments, man. Right? Read. And your own eyes. Uh -huh. After which you used to go a horn. Did your eyes with you go a horn, man. Go on horn and just break the commandments and then literally damn fornicate and just horn, man. Hey, man, I want to let me get, uh, what's that, Zephaniah 12 and 2? 2, 2 and 12? Hey, let me get Zephaniah 2 and 12 real quick. Brother, keep the commandments. Keep the Sabbath day holy, okay? What you got? Hey, hey, bring this out. This so called Ethiopian woman over here. See, we didn't know how to cut her shreds already, man. And she, and she hurt. And it took her months. Okay. It took her months. I ain't seen her in a long time to build up a curse. She come. Hey, 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 man. Once, once this knowledge get it, get get into your head, it stick. That's right. Hey, this word is sharper than any toy sword, man. Hey, I done seen Edomites walk down the street having nervous breakdown after, after these words come out, man. This is our weapon of warfare. It's spiritual, it's not carnal, man. Right? Hey, man, we kind of slicing and dicing and cutting them up with these scriptures, man. Right? Bring it up. This is the book of Zephaniah, nine, chapter two and verse twelve. So, this is, hey, y'all, listen up. This is this is this is the fate of this so-called Ethiopian woman. These people had us in captivity, also. That's not right. just a so-called white man. She cut the heart. Read. Ye Ethiopians. Ye who? Ye Ethiopians. Ye who? Ye Ethiopians. You heard the Ethiopians, man. That they are not. Those are Hamites. We're Shemites. We're Shemitic people, man. That's right. All right. Ye Ethiopians. Read. Ye Ethiopians. Also, ye shall be slain by my sword. They should be what? Ye shall be slain by my sword. They should be what? Ye shall be slain by my sword. What is Ethiopia? Ye shall be slain by my sword. You're gonna be slain by the Most High Sword. He ain't right. dealing with you. You get out here with damn pants on, man. And that's why your ass almost fell off the damn curve, man. Look at that. Hey, let's bring it up. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 13, and verse 9. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it out. It's coming. Bring it out. Right? Read. He 
they kill it with the sword. Can they kill it with the sword? They still killing us with the sword, man. They still treat us like we ain't shit, man. Hey, hey man, you can't treat the children of Israel like that, man. You don't know who you're messing with. Read. He didn't kill it with the sword. Must, must be, be killed, killed with, with the sword. sword. No, nah, maybe they must be killed with the sword. Must, must be killed, killed with the sword. sword. Dirty Ethiopian, the Lord said you must be killed with the sword. Damn pants on, man. Let me get to the realm to 22 real quick, man. Hey, man, the Lord ain't dealing with her. That's right. No, no, the Lord ain't dealing with her. Let me get that. Do, do the round 22 and 5. Calm now, down, watch down. this. Now, we finna show y'all that she ain't with the most high. She don't know what the hell going on. These scriptures are only for the only the Israelites get the only the, the true understanding of these scriptures, man. Right. Y'all been lying to. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-two, verse five. Read out. Woman shall not work that which pertaineth unto a man. What the Lord say? The woman shall not work that which pertaineth unto a man. The Lord say the woman should not wear what pertaineth to a man. She got damn pants on, man. Tight ass pants on. I can see all of her hands, man. Break it out. Y'all are royal to be so-called blacks and Hispanics, man. Y'all have to y'all have to dress modestly. When Christ comes back, we're gonna kill you, man. Right. Christ is not all hugging kisses. Bring it up. This is the record of Deuteronomy. Chapter 18 and verse 18. Hey, look at that arm. Um, that woman Jezebel, that's arm. Um, Revelations chapter, yeah, give, give me that. Bring it up. I will raise up. Well, raise them up, a prophet, from above their brother. No, he's gonna raise up a prophet from our uh, from damn wicked ass Ethiopian woman. I will raise them up, a prophet, from above their brother. Hey, the Lord said he's gonna raise up us a prophet from our brother. And our brother are the Israelites. You can get that in Ezekiel. No, don't go there. But Ezekiel chapter what, 11? 11 verse 15, you get that in there Leviticus chapter 19, man. The Israelites are your brother. Hey, in the scripture when they say your brother, it's talking about your kinsmen, man. Right. According to the flesh, man. That's what was right. It ain't talking about the foreign people, man. Screw them, man. Read. Like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth. And he's going to put the words in his mouth, not some damn nasty ass African, man. All right, read. And he shall speak unto them. Uh -huh. Oh, then I command him. And he's gonna speak all that he command us, man. She ain't done says Lord, she ain't got no speech. She's just up there slapping her damn guns, man. Let's sit on that. Bro, read. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse eleven. Bring it up. Let the woman learn in silence. Read that again. Let, Let the, the woman learn in silence. silence. Now she's supposed to be teaching and reading her mouth. Let, Let the, the woman learn in silence. silence. With all subjection. Uh -huh. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Hold on, read that again. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Now she's supposed to be teaching. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Man, see, she don't know what the hell going on, man. She's confused and confounded, man. The Lord said I suffer not a woman to teach. To stand up over over men, that man to be teaching, man. Right? Read. No to absorb authority over the man. No to assert authority over man. What's up, Maccabees? She said Jesus Christ died for the sins of humanity. No. Israelite, hey, Jesus Christ came for the Israelites. Let me, hold on, hold that. Let me get Matthew chapter 15, verse 25. We're gonna run this heathen on somewhere, man. Run right. your ass on somewhere. Heathen, you don't want to talk about. I'm gonna cut your ass up, man. Yo, yo, I'm saying, like, bring your ass on around here. Read. Listen with the Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said. But Christ answered and said, read. I am not sick. I am not what? I am not sick. I am not sick. Read. But it's not a sheep. She's a damn, she got flies and everything, man. She don't know what's going on out here, brother. Hey, don't let these heathen, hey, don't let them confound you, all right? Hey, man, that's my time, man. Then I say shalom, bring up the next teacher. Shalom.